What's up? What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Dale Mar. Um, I just wanted to get this fast uh, video real quick about um, how I feel about uh, the dating scene inside the United States. And what I've seen in the past 30 years, right? Like, I can compare. I'm going to just get straight to the topic real quick, y'all, because... It's very important. I can uh, I can remember back in the day, it wasn't that hard, right? But it's hard now. So I'm gonna just get to to the bread and butter. The best thing at this point for a single man to do, like myself, if you're in your thirties, twenties, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties. I'm, I'm not going to say so much the 60s, but to like early 50s, right? At this point, I don't suggest a black man to be a, step, a, a stepfather. Don't raise nobody else's kids. What I do want y'all to do is this. I want y'all to go to the gym, do what y'all do, get your money right, and travel. At this point, y'all, and I'm talking to black men first, this is the only thing that we got left. Women today in the United States, they're no good. They're no good. The only way that you're going to find a quality woman is if you grew up with her. And it's very slim that you're going to find that. So... The best thing at this point, y'all, I can tell the young brothers, the brothers middle with 30, 40, and early 50s, save your money, go on your trips. Don't, don't go on no dates, spending your money, and get nothing in return. I am supportive of you doing what you got to do for the whole year. Book your trip, and then go overseas, enjoy your trip. If you got to stay two weeks, stay two weeks. If you got to stay one week, get everything you can get out of it. But at this point, y'all, don't go on no dinner dates. I do not support dinner dates. You know what I'm saying? You work hard. You work hard for your money. Yes, you want return on your investment. You know what I'm saying? You work hard. So it's not going on the days of you stick, spending all this cash, taking them movies, buying them drinks, but, you know, taking them out to the club and all of this shit. This shit costs money, and you work hard for your money. And this don't only go for black men. This goes for... This goes for any person, any man that's single, and, and, and he's been through the dating scene, right? And it, it's hard to find a good lady, a good woman. Okay, and, 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 and it's impossible to get married nowadays. So, what I'm, I am suggesting for y'all to save your money, take your trips, go on your, your vacations, um, explore the cultures, get involved in these cultures, do your research, do everything you got to do, but you only live once. And I'm telling you this from your boy DMR. I've experienced this. When you go to these certain cultures, you know, then you begin to connect with people. You get to connect with people, right? So, you might go somewhere by yourself and, and meet people while you're there. You know what I'm saying? I suggest to find a tour guide, somebody that's of a good price. Yes, you want to pay. Pay them a price. Um, have them show you around, get to, get, get to eat certain foods that you haven't eaten before, go to the beach, get affiliated with the area and the people there, and, and strike relationships. But, y'all, at this point in the game, the American man that's single, it's no chance for nothing else. Save your money, get your health right, go to the gym, work your job, save your money all year round, go on your trip, whether it's from Dominican Republic, Thailand, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, uh, Ghana, uh, Rwanda, uh, 
South Africa, any any spots that you feels as though that you want to go rest your head, y'all, then I suggest you to do that. At this point, it's not how it was in the 90s. It's over. All of that's dead. Those guys that's my age that are Generation X, it's a wrap. All that, all, all of that stuff that we did back in the day is dead. Now the millennials called Generation Zers, I think, they got the plan. A lot of them are retiring in their 30s, their early 30s. Uh, I know a few guys that have retired in the 30s. So, what what we learn from our our baby baby boomer mom and father's generation, that stuff is dead, y'all. It's over. It's a wrap. Okay, you need to start getting on board with three things: getting your money right, getting your body right, and getting your travel game right. Those are three things at this point. All of that going out to these clubs. Entertaining these ladies in the United States is over with. It's over. So again, it's your boy, DMR, just sharing with y'all my thoughts on what should be done at this point. Um, like I always say, the the scene in the United States is flatlined. It done. It done flatlined already. It was on life support. It done flatlined. It's finito. It's a rat. It's over. You know, you might find yourself going uh, um, a year without that thing. You know, you might got to sacrifice, y'all. You might got to sacrifice, you know, not having having sex. Because sometimes you may have a partner that you have sex with. She might get you jammed up, then you can't travel at all. So the best thing to do at this point, save your money, sacrifice, practice discipline. Uh, don't do it. No dinner dates. Now, if you go abroad and you meet somebody over overseas, I would say do a dinner date. But in the Matrix, no dinner dates. I repeat. No dinner dates in the Matrix. American, African men, especially. And that's anybody else that's a traveler, whether you're white, Asian, white, Asian, uh, foreign. If you're a single person, I suggest you to save your money, practice discipline, y'all. You know, but don't do it. You know, because at the end of the day, they just want to use you, take your money, and go call Tyrone, and Tyrone will come over. Tyrone ain't pay for none of that. Okay, so again, y'all, we as Sigma males have to um, understand that and practice that. So again, it's your boy DMR. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe to, subscribe to my channel. If you like my content, hit the button. If you don't, thank you for your view, and thank you for your thumbs down. Again, y'all, with that being said, it's your boy, Dan Moore, signing off. Peace.